Thank you, Atom. And uh, first of all, I just want to say thank you very much for Prime Leadership Foundation for inviting me here. Um, I'm very excited. It's my first time here. I come from a very humble beginning. I come from a, a very middle income family. Um, my father passed away when I was young. I was in university when uh, he passed away. I was in Australia at that time in my second year of counting studies. And I came back uh, shaping my own life. I come from a humble town called Portixer. Anyone from Nevis Milan here? Anyone? Yeah, we're well, here. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, upon coming back, uh, just before I, I just before I left, uh, I joined. I was in Royal Military College as, as a student. Oh, there it is. <laughs> That's the photo. Uh, that was about 22 years ago, and there was a moment where I thought, uh, where I wanted to pursue who I wanted to be. In this particular, at this particular time, when the MC was saying things about me, he says five other top students and four of them wanted to be an engineer wanted to be a doctor, beliau bercita-cita jadi jurutera, beliau bercita-cita untuk jadi ahli politik. Uh, beliau, bila santai saya, dia kata beliau bercita-cita untuk menjadi Perdana Menteri. And at that time, uh, PM was the Minister of uh, uh, Defence. He went, ah! It was quite funny, my father caught that on camera. Um, I'm truly inspired by people. To be honest, I am truly inspired by people. I am easily inspired by people. One of the people I am truly inspired is to Dr. Mahade, big time. And therefore, I didn't know what I wanted to do in life, but I wanted to pursue my chart, uh, whatever that I, I can do. And I thought my dad was a good source of inspiration. He was a banker. So I thought one, things I, one thing I want to do is to be good and be learning more about business. So that's why I became a chartered accountant. But like Zamini <laughs> as well, uh, I, I, I only did that for about four years. I was in KPMG in Australia and I came back and I pursued corporate life. And then I came back and I started my own business. Now, what's important that I learned here is I never ever thought about criticizing people. I never ever thought about why is it the government don't give me this and that. Because I know that I have to shape my own life. So today I am a finance director of my of this company called Street Fashion KL, my wife's company. And uh, I'm also a financial educator. I, I think um, money education inspires people. I think that's the way to go for the youth. We need to learn more about money. And thirdly, I established, after this program called Apprentice Asia, how many of you have seen Apprentice Asia? Thank you. Ah, well, I could. <laughs> <Very clever. laughs> after Apprentice Asia, and I totally got inspired to follow my purpose in life. And my purpose in life is to teach. And I love the line of education. Because I learned a lot about business, and I thought I should be teaching that line. And today, um, Explosive Minds Asia is a new establishment and we, our first contract, to be honest, was quite funny. Uh, Tony Fernandez came to the site after the grand final, he said, come and work for me, right? <laughs> and I thought, nah. <laughs> I thought, I'm gonna work with you. So our first contract was to teach, was to develop the leaders of apprentice, uh, sorry, of A Asian X, and we got the first batch of A Asian X um, just after the pilot. They're the called they call the purses, uh, the the flight attendants, senior flight attendants, leaders of the plane because they bought a thousand new airbuses, right? So we created a program that's three months long, and so on and so forth. So we developed leadership and coaching programs for them, and things have been really well and I totally love my life and uh, I, I love every day that I wake up and I totally am always inspired that's why I'm here today so that's all about me thank you